Yehuda, la que no all sports o no martial arts o no fighting and everything, teaching self defense es importante. But there are many people who who learn these arts to become bad people. We have seen it in movies, let's say. But there you, you see it all the way that people learn martial arts or something that to become bad or to try to beat any other one. How do you keep that for not happening? How do you teach people uh, to learn that Krav Maga it's an Israeli art, but it's for self-defense? Because many will say that there is a way to provoke and to fight with other ones. I'm talking now about about the teachers. All right. I'm talking now to the teachers, all the teachers of martial arts in the world. If we are really, really love to teach martial arts and really, really want that it will become something good to help people, we are the teachers need to very, very take care about our our students, never mind where, because we are, have eyes, you can think, you have to talk with your students, you have to ask about them sometimes, if it's a child, children, if the children, ask the parents, how's the, how's the child, how is he in the, in the school, ask his friend, if it's a, something, someone bigger, ask his friend. Go sometimes. I remember my father. Go around all the city. And if he saw someone beat someone, if he saw someone uh, yell about uh, yell uh, over an uh, old man, old woman, he will give him a slap. Why you do like this? Why you talking? He can be your father. He can be your grandfather. So we are the teach. The teacher need to take care about our, our students. Take care of him, look about him. And especially if we are teaching around the world, we should take it. And, and why is it important for kids to learn Krav Maga or this kind of martial arts? You know, they say karate is good because they put you in an order and, and, and so on. <coughs> what is important for kids? You have kids in your school. Yeah, so course. why is it important for parents to take their kids to learn Krav Maga? First of all, the order. The order is everywhere. And the way that it's very, very simple, everyone can do it. And the other thing that we, with the state of mind of a visa system, we, how to get away from violence. And the last one. In Mexico, they are starting a lot of Krav Maga schools. How to know? Which one is real? Which one to know? Because nobody knows Krav Maga. It says, I will teach Krav Maga, but they can be teaching ballet or football, and you say, it says it's Krav Maga. How to know which one is correct, which one is Krav Maga, and which one is a good teacher of Krav Maga? Uh, my father one time said that uh, even football is Krav Maga. All right. Why? Because Krav Maga, it means a combat with contact. So it means any kind of sport that there's in contact between people, this is Krav Maga. Tennis, it's not Krav Maga. Uh, uh, volleyball, it's not Krav Maga because there's no contact between people. Yes. So anyone today can say that they do Krav Maga. Maybe it's correct. I don't know. But as I told you at the beginning, If we are talking about the ideology of Krav Maga, what Imi wanted, the most simple movement, the most short movement, the movement that anyone can do it, even the weakest people in the person in the world, if he can do it, this is Krav Maga. If not, maybe it's a good art, martial art, but it's not Krav Maga. All right. Thank you very much. We we'll have to see you teaching Krav Maga to learn some of these simple moves that anyone can do and to know it because you have to take Krav Maga, put most of it, learn from Krav Maga not to get in any fight.